All right, everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to make your sprites move. So remember, sprites are what um, your characters mainly are. Right now I'm using the cat. Uh, let's say you don't want the cat. You can throw it away here and go grab a new one. So I come over here and let's say instead I wanted the ballerina. So I bring the ballerina in and this screen, this background I have, shows you how the screen is divided up in Scratch. Okay, so if I go all the way up, remember this is the y-axis. So this line right in the middle is 0, 0, x equals 0, y equals 0. And if I go all the way up to the top of my screen, y is 180. If I go, so, when I come all the way up here, notice right now it tells you down here what Y you're at. I'm at 161. Bring them up more. And if I, and now she's almost off the screen. It says she's at 191. So where this sprite is measured, which is usually in the middle of each sprite, that sprite's now off the screen. Now, on the x-axis, going left and right, you can go all the way over to 240. And then when we go left, the numbers are negative. All right, why are we talking about this? Well, we want to be able to program a sprite to move with the keyboard. So we're going to do that today. And we're going to use an event where we, we say when the space key is pressed. And... We're going to need four of those because we're going to program her to move in four different directions. Now, it doesn't make sense to use the space bar for all of these. So, on all of these, there's a menu you can click. And I'm going to say up arrow, down arrow, left, and right. And notice, you can pick any key that's on your keyboard. If we scroll down here, all the keys are there. So if you're someone who would rather use WSD for your commands or some other key, you can do that. All right, so I'm going to start here with left and right. So when I look at this, left and right is on the x-axis. And so when I go right, I want to be changing the x. So we go over to the blue motion blocks. And I'm going to go down, and I'm going to use change x by 10. So when the right arrow key is pressed, now my ballerina moves to the right. Now, she, she won't move in any other directions yet. So I am going to, uh, I need to program, I need to write the code for each one. So when the left arrow key is pressed, I'm going to change x by 10. Now, when I hit the left arrow key, she is moving right. When I hit the right arrow key, she's moving right. That's because I made a mistake. Okay, if I want to move left, my numbers have to get more negative. So I need to subtract 10. So, negative 10. Now, she moves left, she moves right when I push the keys. So, so far, so good. Now, uh, up arrow key now so up arrow key and down now we're changing the Y so we're going to change the Y by 10 to move up and then I bet you already know if we want to move down we've got to make it negative 10 okay so now my character moves in all four directions Okay, last thing. This over here, X and Y, with a little arrows that remind you that X is left and right, Y is up and down, this tells you exactly where your character is on the screen. So let's say I was writing a program where I wanted my character to start right here at the beginning. Well, that's at X equals 191, Y equals negative 99. So, if I go out to event and I want this to happen automatically, so I'm going to use 
when the green flag is clicked and then I'm going to go to motion and there's one that says go to and notice it's filled in right where I've dragged them and you can type in your own numbers there if you want but if you just click and drag your characters where they want scratch will fill them in for you so now I can move my character wherever I want but when the program starts she snaps back in place to right here okay so when I click on the green flag she snaps back in there to place. So good luck getting your sprites to move with the keyboard. And that's all I've got for today.